In this video, I'm going to share with you the basic steps of how to rebuild a turbo from a Volkswagen 1.9T turbo diesel found on the Jetta and Passat 1.9T. And this will also work for a great tutorial for the Mercedes-Benz and Trask turbochargers. Before you disassemble this turbo, it's a good idea to go ahead and mark where the compressor wheel and the nut is. You can also even mark the shaft if you're trying to keep, uh, well of course it's to keep the balance, but if you mark the shaft then you could keep the same torque spec. However, if you can't remember the torque spec, what you want to do is go ahead and run this nut up by hand until it starts to grab the compressor wheel and then just add one fourth turn. Here's the rebuild kit that I'm using. This We also sell this kit and I'll link to it. And the other thing is that you can actually buy a cartridge for this that would be a whole lot easier and probably cheaper depending if you send it to somebody to rebuild. So um, yeah, so there's a kit, I'll link to that. There's also a cartridge if you try and want to buy that, just make sure your specs are right. So I'll link to the cartridge also. First off, make sure you do all the necessary cleaning and preparation work. And the way this bearing gets installed, make sure you take note of that dowel area. Because there's a pin that holds that in. Insert your pin. Like that and your thrust collar right there install your thrust bearing now this gets bolted on later take your uh, front collar and make sure you put the seal this on this is how you install the front seal correctly That's where a lot of people mess up. Notice how I put the open end over it. Now you can install the front collar into the plate. Make sure you put some oil on there. You just have to be patient as you kind of squeeze it in. Sometimes it helps to get a pick in there to help close this seal. Install the seal. Then you can install the plate. Usually this has a special way to clock for the bolts. Once you find where it's clocked for the holes, you can insert the bolts and add some lock tight. You have the bolts on and tightened down, you can install the compressor housing airing and you can prepare to install the shaft by putting the piston ring seal on. Pay close attention to the way that I do this. So install the heat shield and install the turbine shaft. Keep in mind there is a C-clip in the back of this housing. 
That was already there before I installed the bearing. This is the shaft insulation. And make sure you put plenty of oil under the seal and on the shaft area and the bearing itself. And then you can install the compressor wheel. This is a billet wheel, so sometimes you do have to heat it up. And install a shaft nut. And also make sure you put some Loctite on this. Be sure to put some red Loctite on this. And usually the shaft is like a really weird type of uh, uh, thing to hold it so we I just use a vice grip if I have to and then you're gonna add one fourth turn and then you're done Here's the VGT system. Keep in mind there's a peg here. There's three of these like rollers and pegs. These connect to the bearing housing. Don't be afraid to take this apart to clean it. So these pegs come out. And keep in mind the orientation. So, well you could just pull these pegs out like that and then your rollers will come out. And then this peg comes out. And then the whole system will unbolt. You have three bolts here. So notice the long area here. Uh, that will basically help you identify how to put it back together. And then this open space, that will be right here where that pin is. This goes on the so back. Keep in mind these three uh, larger pins with the rollers and then that one here the smaller one the smaller one is there and the three larger ones go there if you have any questions you can comment below or contact me at turbolabamerica at gmail.com